There's only one man sitting in the cockpit of this solar plane, or is there? Actually, the pilot is assisted by a team of 20 engineers. The Solar Impulse Control Base in Monaco is in permanent contact with the pilot. The team of meteorologists have to work out the perfect flight route hour by hour. The plane's now in China. This is our forecast desk. On this side, we get satellite weather maps. Here's one of the Himalayas. And here, we feed the meteorological data into a simulator, where we can make the plane fly virtually. Here we enter our Swiss air traffic control department. We also have a Chinese interpreter, which is quite important. We have to translate everything from English into Chinese and vice versa in order to communicate with the Chinese air traffic control. For every change of route, Solar Impulse must get the green light from the air traffic control of the country it's flying through. Because the plane is so light, even a bit of rain or wind can cause problems. But it also needs a lot of sun to recharge the batteries. For landing as well as for takeoff, the maximum wind speed the plane can take is 8 knots. That's about 14 kilometers an hour, which is quite light. Weather was a key factor in the planning phase. Because of monsoon season, the plane's journey through India and southern China was scheduled for certain months. With so little sun in winter, Switzerland had to be ruled out as the starting point. One big hurdle for Solar Impulse will be the crossing of the Pacific and the Atlantic. This requires five days of non-stop cloudless weather.